Workington's Helena Thompson Museum was packed out by crowds for the preview screening of The Ballad of Lucy Sands, a film depicting the town's most infamous crime case. The film itself is about an unsolved murder about a young lady from 1881 who was found on Northside in 1882, three months later, who'd been murdered for reasons unknown. And the murderer himself actually got away with it three months later. And so that's what the film's about, it's covering the events leading up to it, the events during the trial, and then the events following that trial, so the ripple effects really on everybody. The idea for the film came to the director in a dream and required extensive research to bring to the big screen. My head was bursting with the amount of research I did over a five, six year period, and that needed to go somewhere. I'd learned so much. There are people in the town, 137 years later, who still know of Lucy, who still know the tales of, you know, the warnings of, you know, oh, don't go out late, you know, you'll end up like Lucy. It goes deeper than that for me because she is a human being. Her life was cut short. And the injustice which prevailed from the court scenes, so we're now making certain he didn't get away with it. The film is still only halfway through shooting, but crews say that the preview was necessary as a thank you. We've got a sh uh, shoot in Tavistock, um, which uh, on the on the 23rd of June. So it's going to be yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it very much. So um, so he's wanted to to kind of show his appreciation to not just also to the cast and crew, but to the people that have been supporting it, um, like through Facebook and the locations that we've used. Uh, it was a fairly good response. The Helena Thompson Museum were happy to host the screening after years of collaborative work. So Steve has put this short 20 piece preview together just to give us an insight into what will be happening in the next few years when the full movie comes out. I actually said to Steve, because he's been coming and doing research here, I said, please, when it's a preview, send it, take it from the museum, put it on at the museum. Don't go anywhere else with you. We've supported him all the way through for the last couple of years. We've put a lot of effort and time into it as well. So please don't take it anywhere else. He said he wouldn't dare. <laughs> Well, it's keeping Lucy's memory alive, and I think that is one of the really important things. As far as the heritage of the town, this was something that happened a lot of years ago. And even as a museum, we have got all the information in the Times and Stars, the old papers and everything, for people to come and look at, but actually seeing that now and putting together in a movie is just wonderful. The cast and crew visited Lucy's gravesite the night before the preview, and they say the historical learning is part of the appeal for the parts. It's been, just been nice to what, like find out a lot about real people from all these years ago yeah. and find out like the different lives they used to live. And it's like, actually really interesting to learn. Because mm -hmm. I was yeah. reading up, I was meant to be doing some revision <laughs> for something, <laughs> and um, I was reading up about um, like newspaper cli clippings and things like that, and I was literally reading all of them like, it's oh crazy, my gosh. Yeah, and just like walking around last night, um, around the town and knowing that that's where these people actually went. So chilling, it like sent shivers up us. It was really harrowing. Yeah, it was, it was super haunting. And we spoke to the town council about the prospect of the film being completed in Workington. It's really important because we can use that for the town. We need to keep our heritage alive, we need to know the history of it. And I think we should make the town available as best we can for them to achieve their aim of making the film. Well, we need to do our best to make sure that we, we get them into all the places they need to go and to make it as easy as possible for them. The first screening of the film received a positive response from those in attendance, and many locals seem pleased that a grim part of Workington's history is finally getting the spotlight. Kira McFudgeon, That's TV.